Yo, welcome back to a brand new Craftopia guide. In today's guide, we are going to be talking about Enchan. Now, as always, if this guide did help you, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below with any help that you need. But let's do this. Now, before we get started, this is not a guide on the best enchants in the game. This is simply a guide explaining to beginners how enchants work, how to gather them, what they actually do, and how to then use the enchants to make your equipment better. After this guide, I will have more guides coming out with the best enchants for the dedicated class. But there are currently a lot of people that don't understand enchants as a whole, so I think going through the basics first is needed. So to start off with, we are going to head into our altar of transportation and go to basically any island. For this purpose, I'm going to go to the island of Cherry Blossom, as there's a very easy way to explain what an enchant is using Island of Cherry Blossom. So I'm going to hit travel. So now we are here in the Island of Cherry Blossom. Now I've already farmed a lot of logs from here, so it may look a little bit more empty than yours, but this is where we want to be for right now because you can see we have two different variations of trees here. We have these pink ones and we have the green ones. So if we run up and chop a green tree, you will see we are just getting logs, basic logs. If we head into our inventory, we can see these logs are very basic. They have no benefits on them whatsoever. But if we were to come over to one of the pink trees, you can see we're now getting spring breeze logs. So now when we head into our inventory, we can see we have two different types of logs. One being these basic logs and the other being these spring breeze logs. These spring breeze logs offer 5% max health and 5% more mana. That is an enchant. The enchant is this part here, spring breeze offering this. This is a basic log, no bonuses, no enchants. So that is the absolute basic to what an enchant is. So now when we head into our blacksmith, for example, and we scroll down to something we want to craft, let's say armor. Armor is a nice basic one that everybody needs. We're going to take the standard black light armor. We can see this requires 20 iron ingots and 20 leather. So I've just gathered myself some leather and iron ingots with no enchants at all. Now, if I click over here on detail of enchanting chance, nothing, absolutely nothing. So if I was to then craft that and take that out of the blacksmith, I can see that that is the basic version. It has no enchants, it has no bonuses. It simply gives me 15 defense. However, now I have swapped my leather out or dangerous crocodile's leather, which has all these enchants here. Except these ones here, these only apply to consumables, so will only work with food. But we're looking at armor, so anything above this part here is what we will gain using this leather. Now I have kept standard iron ingots because we're going to stacking in a minute. But if we now head into our blacksmith again, go down to the armor we wish to create, and now we click detailed of enchanting chance, you can see we get these other variations. So going from this, we can see we have an 80% chance of creating a crocodile's black light armor, which only applies to consumables. So we don't want that one. What we do want is this dangerous. And to get that, we have a 60% chance. Now, I will try to explain this part as much as I can. Please do bear with me. Whenever you're running dungeons or walking around the maps, whatever it may be, you will be collecting chests and supply drops, both of which give you enchantment points. Here, you are actually able to use those enchantment points to force one of these upgrades. So, I could click this one here, and I can see that... For 199 enchant points, here's my balance here, I can force that enchant. Now I can force that enchant which may seem great, which it is, because I don't have to worry about getting this potential 80%, I can just guarantee myself this one, and it will come in as a reinforced dangerous. So I'm going to force that enchant now. So by forcing it, I can now see I have a 100% chance of getting reinforced, which gives me plus 10 durability, and my dangerous enchantment. So I can hit craft. Now when I take this armor and head into my inventory, I now have a reinforced 
dangerous. So now this now gives me plus 10 durability because of reinforced. You see the colors match up. And the purple, the dangerous, gives me attack plus 15, attack plus 10%, and so on. So we now have such a big boost compared to running a basic set of armor. And that goes for every item in the game. The only thing you don't want to do it with is builds. You may find a lot of the time from craft and stuff that some of your builds have enchantments on. So here's one I have here. This is just a furniture workbench, but it has the palm enchantment on it. This does absolutely nothing. No enchantment does anything for builds. If anything, it's actually more annoying. So what you want to do is you want to head to your multi-select. You want to select the item with the enchantment on it and you want to wash away enchantments. That now takes it back to a furniture workbench and then any other furniture workbench that you craft will stack better than having multiple workbenches that all do the same thing but they've all got different enchantments on. So if it's a build, take the enchantments off. Enchantments only really matter when it comes to armor, weapons, accessories, food. You get the idea. Builds does nothing. So this time we are now going to combine both enchanted leather and enchanted iron ingot. So if we head into my iron box, we will see that we have a range of different enchantments on these irons. So I have a crimson, I have a spring breeze, I have a robber's Kevin. There is a bunch of different ones. So we're going to take this crimson, for example. If I was to take this out, if I now head into my furnace and I go to iron ingots, we can do the same thing. We can see what chance we have of having that enchanted. Now, because we only have the crimson iron ore in my inventory, it means we get a 100% chance of getting crimson iron ingots from it. Now, we don't need to worry about forcing that because we already have the 100%. So I'm going to take out 20 of them because that's how much we need for the armor. And I'm going to craft those. Okay, so they are now finished. So I'm going to take them. Now, if I head into my inventory, I can see I have two types of iron ingots. I have the basic iron ingots with no enchant. And then I have the crimson iron ingot. So to increase our chances, we want to take those other iron ingots back. We don't want the basic ones right now. We want the enchanted. So we have the enchanted leather and the enchanted iron ores only on us. So now when we head over this side and we go into the black light armor again, when we look at the detailed, we can now see that now we have crimson on here. But what if we wanted Dangerous Crimson? The way we would do that is by not forcing it. So if we click here, we can force the enchant. And same with this one. It doesn't matter. We can force any of these enchants. However, if we head back and we don't force any enchants, because that's the only equipment we have on us, we have a higher chance of getting both on our armor without the reinforced. So if we head to craft, now before you do this, this doesn't work 100% of the time. You may still get one of the enchants or whatever it may be. So sometimes you have to repeat this process as many times as needed before one actually gives you the stacked enchant. So let's go with craft and let's see what we get. Okay, so we got Crocodile's Dangerous. So technically it did work because before we could force one of them, which meant we would have had Reinforced Crocodile's, Reinforced Dangerous, or Reinforced Crimson. What didn't work is getting Dangerous Crimson. So we would repeat that process as many times as we need. Okay, so I just made a bunch more of my Crimson Iron Ingots. Again, we can see the percentage chances if we were to force them, but we want stacked end chance, so we are not forcing them. So we're going to come back out and we're going to craft one more. Come on. Oh, we only got dangerous that time. So currently we just have basic dangerous reinforced dangerous. This was because we forced the dangerous. And then we have crocodiles dangerous. Not quite what we want, so... We have to keep going. Let's make another. Oh, and we got crocodiles that time. We got no enchants at all that time. 
So you get the idea, we would continue to do that and keep trying to stack up those enchants. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to look at something a little bit more in depth. And this is what we call four stacking. So four stacking is finding resources with two enchants on. So right here, I have a stack of crimson dragon iron ore. I acquired this from killing a crimson dragon. So the resources you gather are not necessarily the best enchants because some enchants have to come from killing bosses such as leather iron ore things like that you can still find the enchants out in worlds but if you want specific ones for example the better tier ones it usually comes from fighting bosses a very simple one is a golem a golem will drop golem iron ore so we can see right here i have stone golem iron ore it doesn't have the best bonuses but you get the point. But this Crimson Dragon Iron Ore is very good. So if we were to take this one out, and I'm actually going to put away the Crimson ones a moment, we also then needed leather. So here we have basic pig leather from killing a pig. Now, as you can see, the only enchant it has is applies to consumables. This is useless because you don't make consumables with leather. So I would actually be better off washing this enchant off so that it stacks nicer in my bank and is just plain leather. So here I have full moon werewolf's leather. Now again, this isn't the best leather, but it's certainly a lot better than the pig leather. And it's a double enchant. Now if you see down here, this has some negatives to it. This will lower my max stamina by 50 and my magic attack will go down by 10, and my max mana will come down by 5%. So, if you're using magic, this wouldn't be a leather you would want to use. But here, we have Dangerous Crocodiles again. So, Dangerous Crocodiles has great enchants, so we're going to go ahead and withdraw that. So, currently, right now, we have two enchants on our Iron Ore, because we have Crimson Dragon, and we have Dangerous Crocodile on our leather. So first of all, I'm going to need to turn this iron ore into ingots. Okay, so we've turned all of our iron ore into ingots. And we can see in our inventory, we now have 90 Crimson Dragon iron ingots. And we have 100 Dangerous Crocodile's leather. So here we go. Let's see if we can four stack them. Okay, so we actually got Dragon Crimson Dangerous already off to a great start. That is a lot better. We were hoping to get the four stack, but realistically, we don't need the four stack. Because if you remember, the crocodile only applies to consumables. I just did that as an example because it was a four stack. So technically, we got the best possible enchant that we could have got from using those two resources. So we ended up with Dragon Crimson Dangerous. Look at the buffs on this compared to this now some of these may not sound particularly crazy 10 percent attack five percent movement speed those numbers may not be blowing your mind but believe me they make such a huge difference they make the difference between hitting hundreds to thousands and that is just one item you are using. That is just your main piece of armor. On top of that, you may have a hat. You may have a glider or wings. You may have an amulet, a ring, a weapon. All this stuff can be treated exactly the same. We can stack those enchants. So if we head back into our blacksmith, we can see any of these weapons, they all require resources to create. So everything here can be created with enchants, whether that's armor, jewelry, weapons, whatever we need for our dedicated build. What we would then do with this information is do that for everything we find. Now, I understand there's a lot of enchants. It's hard to pinpoint the exact best enchants for dedicated builds but let's take weapons for example if you go ahead and you create yourself this bow and you already have decent enchants on it but then you find better enchants you can still apply this what you're able to do is take your current bow and refine it now refining a weapon will lose the enchants on one of them and i'm going to show you this as an example so let's head over and let's pick a weapon i have here so i'm just going to go into here where i have a bunch of these swords now i'm just going to take this one here and this one here 
Now I can see instantly that this one isn't too bad. This one is awful. I do not want this whatsoever. So what I'm able to do is take them both out, head over to my refining station, put the worst one in here, and put my better one in here. Now that will refine and that will make the better version better. It will make it hit more. So just say, for example, I crafted this weapon. It doesn't necessarily go to waste because I can actually use it to make the one that I found with better enchants, I can increase the damage on it. So now, as you can see, I now have a plus one, which doesn't do anything for your enchants. Your enchants will stay on the weapon. So if you got rid of the weapon to increase the better weapon, then those enchants, they're gone. They're long gone. Your better weapon still has the exact same enchantments on it, but they are it's now a plus one, so it does a lot more damage. So let's head back into our blacksmith and let's take a look at jewelry. So jewelry in this game is also very key purely because there's little tricks you can do to allow multiple of the same item with basically the same enchantments so this may sound confusing but let's take this necklace here now this necklace requires iron ingots and glass now for example if you were to kill yourself a reaper you can get reaper glass and reaper glass is very very good so if we head into my inventory we can see that i actually have two necklaces on I have this one here and this one here. Now, they are both very, very good because they are both four stacked with enchantments. But the enchantments are different on each one, allowing me to wear two of basically the same item. They may just help in different areas. So if we take a look at this one here, this is a bone dragon. That's one enchant. Dragon, that's two. Crimson, that's three, and Ruler of Indigo, that's four. So from that, I'm actually gaining all of these enchants just off that basic amulet. And you can do the same here. So this is a Crimson Underworld Dragon Ruler of Indigo. You see, so just by changing one enchant made it a totally different item, allowing me to wear both. So from my amulets, you can see, for example, this one here has plus 66 on magic attack and the plus 15%. This one here also has plus 66 and plus 15%. Now, I know that may seem confusing, but this is one of those practice makes perfect. And the other thing I would recommend is some sort of noting system. So me personally, I use Discord. I have a private Discord where nobody is in it but me. And in there, I put down my notes about the game. That's purely because I need it for research purposes. And there's also a lot of things in the game that can help you guys. All you have to do is remember it, which can be the tricky part when there's so much content to go and explore. So let's head over to our altar of transportation. And we are going to go to a volcano. So here I have a Island of Variety. Let's go there. Now, very similar to when we went to the Blossom place and we got the Spring Breeze logs, this time we're going to come on over to the Volcano. Now, this is a very easy way to get some great logs. Just come on over to a Volcano and these trees here are great. So we're going to chop this one down. And you can see we actually got normal logs, but then we also did get Fire Demon logs. So let's see again. We only got normal logs that time. Oh, we got fire spirit that time. That time we got fire spirit logs and fire spirit charcoal. So instantly, by heading back into our inventory, we can see we now have basic logs, no enchants. Fire spirit, which has great magic bonuses. And fire demon, which has great attack. So, if I was building a melee build, I would go for Fire Demon, because it actually makes magic worse. If I'm a magic build, which I personally am, I would use Fire Spirit, because it does the same. It boosts magic, but it lowers my defense and my max life. Now, we can do that with anything. If I was to equip my pickaxe right now, and start chopping this, you can see I'm getting ore, but I'm getting Scorching Ore. So Scorching has plus 10 attack and plus 20 max life. 
So anything that needs titanium ore, I would look at what I have and I'd be like, right, I could use basic with no enchants or this stuff here gives me plus 20 health. And that's simply all enchanting is. This is for every item. As you can see, scorching again. No matter what I farm from here, I will always get basic or scorching. Scorching diamond, scorching obsidian. So now I know anytime I want scorching stuff, I'd come to a volcano. So I'd put that down in my notes. But the reason I wanted to show you this place is because a great way to get started off with enchantments is to come to these trees here. Fire Demon and the Fire Spirit are great logs, some of the best logs in the game. So this is where knowing the best enchants comes in difficult, because it completely depends on your build and on the item. If I have a glider, an attack or magic enchant isn't going to be any good, but movement speed absolutely is. Now if I was to come over to a snow biome, you will see I'm getting two different types of logs here as well. I'm getting snow fairies, which has better on magic attack, but not quite as good as the stuff we found over at the volcano. So not going to be any use to us because we already know a better one for that. And it has freezing, which is very similar as well. But again, we know that the fire demon and the fire spirit is way better. So this stuff, personally... I'd wash off those enchantments. Let that stack way easier. Now, another very simple process you can do is actually kill a dragon. Now, I know fighting dragons to some of you may seem a little bit tough, but knowing these enchants will make all of this a hell of a lot easier. So, if I jump off this dragon, and this dragon's going to come for a fight, let's go. I'm just going to pop some uh, buffs a minute. Now, he is very low level compared to me, so he is going to get absolutely annihilated. It may not be this easy for you to kill, kill one, but that's fine. When he dies, look at what he dropped. So I can instantly pick these up, and now I can see from inside here that he dropped some Crimson Dragon Gold Ore. Great enchant. He also then dropped some Diamond Crimson Dragon Diamond. So that's great enchants as well, and same for the platinum. So anything I'm making that requires these resources, I know that I have Crimson Dragon version and can give myself a great buff. And that is it. That is your basics to enchanting. I'm sorry if I went on a little bit. I've actually just realized I've been recording for an hour explaining this, but I wanted to make sure that you guys can go and be as free with your enchantments as you like, and then you will come back to knowing what exactly what means. So when I make the more advanced guides on the best stuff together, you will know exactly what I am talking about. Now, I really hope this guide helped you. If it did, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below if you need any help with either this or anything else in the game i am more than happy to help go and find yourself some enchants and make a list see what the best stuff that you can find is and note down how you get it as well that way you're set for any new items in the future or for continuing to make better items to get that combat power up but most importantly enjoy the rest of your day stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace